Hello everyone, I just got back from Trader Joe's to get our groceries for this week. We wanted to try some of their new things and then just stock back up on our usual favorites. Today I spent, I saved the receipt, but I wanted to show you guys, I spent $200.05. I almost made it to under $200, but that five cents put me over. So up front, we got some of my favorite mini chocolate chip cookie bags. These are 99 cents and my kids like them too. So I picked up four. I also got some fruit leather, just the apple strawberry for my kids. I picked up eight of those. And then just two individual Z bars. Um, I tried the, what was it? The Walmart or the Target Z bar and my daughters notice a difference. So I just got two for breakfasts. I also got some snickerdoodle cookies. I just tried this during my last trip and they're really good and snickerdoodle is my favorite. And during that last trip too, I also tried these cinnamon sugar almonds. My husband and I really enjoyed those. So I got another bag. I got some apple pouches for my son, my one-year-old. So I got the apple carrot and the apple mango for him. Also for my son, I got the peanut flavored Bomba. I feel like that's cheaper than Gerber baby snacks, so I got him a bag of those. This is a new item that I wanted to try. My kids love the Hold the Cone ice cream, so these are just the bottoms of the ice cream cone. So we'll see how these are. These were like $3.99 for this little box, but hopefully they like it. I also got some chocolates. I finished up my stash with like Valentine's Hershey Kisses. So I just wanted to replenish with something different. Um, I got just a small bag of the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. That was 99 cents. And then these mini milk chocolate bars, they don't look very exciting, but they're really good. And my daughter also likes having these in her lunchbox as a little treat. Some frozen items kind of randomly put in this pile. Um, my husband and I like this spinach and artichoke dip. You just put it in the microwave and um, have it with some chips. It's great for entertaining too. So I just got one box. And then down here are some of the newer things. I went in to get these Papa Rellenas and I didn't realize that Chili Rellenos con queso was also out. I don't know if they came out at the same time, but the cashier just told me they just got these. So these are like, um, well, I live in California and these are a dupe of the Porto's potato balls. So it's a crispy mashed potato ball stuffed with seasoned ground beef. And I love Porto's, so I can't wait for um, when my husband and I try this. And my husband really likes chili relleno, so I got him a box of that. I haven't heard any reviews, but I hope he likes that. Next to the meats, I got some bacon for breakfast and also for baked potatoes and some more ham for my daughter's um, homemade Lunchables. I got some more shaved beef for um, a beef fried rice this week. Again, sorry, it's all kind of just randomly on my table, but we haven't had pancake bread in a while. This stuff is really yummy. We just take a slice and um, warm it up in the microwave and we can have that with coffee or just a snack in the middle of the day. Some chips we got were the um, Trader Joe's version of the Cheetos. We got some um, white cheddar corn puffs and the sour cream and onion cheddar puffs. And then also it wouldn't be one of my hauls without um, a bunch of bags of tortilla chips. The tortilla chips are for the spinach and artichoke dip. And I also got the inner peas, uh, green pea snacks for my kids. For produce this week, I got some spinach. We got some carrots. My three-year-old is really starting to like eating carrots raw, so um, she can enjoy those with me. I got some teeny tiny avocados. We go through avocados a lot. This bag kind of looked like there were some that were almost ready and some that are really green, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. We love gala apples, but they weren't looking the best, so I just picked up four. I think we just have one left in our fridge. I got one lemon for waters. We got some Persian cucumbers. I know my five-year-old, almost six-year-old watches my videos, which is really funny, but I'm hoping to just introduce her to cucumbers more so I can pack them in her lunchbox soon. These are my favorite um, coconut waters. I also really like the Harmless Harvest 
coconut water and they taste exactly the same. So this is the single origin organic coconut water. I picked up four of these. I believe they were about $2.29 each. Part of the produce, I got some cantaloupes. My three-year-old likes to eat those with me too. And I went in for some uh, mandarin oranges, but they didn't look good. But next to them were these um, extra sweet nectarines and I'm really excited to have those. I hope those are gonna be good. And I also got a jar of um, peaches. I think that is all for produce. I got some salads just for some easy meals for myself and my husband. My husband really likes Caesar salad and I like the crunchy slaw and the Pasadena salad. So I'll probably eat one of these after this video with some snickerdoodle cookies and some coconut water. I also have another bag of our favorite pasta. I think we still have one more bag, but I just want to always keep some on hand because my daughter really likes that in her lunchbox. I don't think this is a new item, but it might be, but um, I really like uh, cream cheese wontons. And I know in the past I've had some with a little bit of jalapeno and the little description um, next to this said it was just the right amount of spice. So I wanted to try that with my husband as like a little appetizer or something. And I got the sweet chili sauce to go along with it. And also back here, I have the organic reduced sugar raspberry spread. We we're all out of our strawberry ones. So I got raspberry this time and some of the creamy peanut butter for my little boy. And then I have some dairy items here. I got some um, Colby Jack snack sticks. We're all out of our Mexican style cheese blend and that's for snacking on and quesadillas. My son really loves just mozzarella on its own too. So I got mozzarella. I'll also I'll be topping these on our baked potatoes. And we also really love Havarti cheese. So I just got a variety of cheeses for this week. We got some sour cream for the baked potatoes, and then I got a dozen eggs because we were all out. I got some organic frosted potatoes for those um, baked potatoes. Some organic white bread. I already had some Dave's Killer Bread in the fridge, but my kids prefer something that looks like white bread for their sandwiches. And I also got some of their fresh squeezed lemonade. If you guys haven't tried that, that's really, really yummy. So the last thing that I left in the freezer because I didn't want it to melt were these mango cream bars. My three-year-old loves these. These taste just like a, um, fit, no, what are those called? These taste just like a creamsicle, an orange creamsicle, but mango, and I prefer this over the orange one. So it comes with six bars and it's a nice little treat. Okay, I'm just looking around and I don't think I mentioned the Pizza Party potato chips, but I'm really excited to try that. It's another new item. The cashier said some people like it and some people don't. He said it was too much going on in a chip. Let's see. The description says it is a blend of cheese and garlic, pizza sauce, and pepperoni styled seasoned kettle corn potato chips. I will probably wait until my husband gets home to try these. So those are all the treats that I picked up today. Um, yeah, not much of a meal plan this week besides like the fried rice, the uh, baked potatoes, and some lighter meals with the salads, and then just some easy freezer, simple dinners um, this week. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.